Greetings, this is Bardo. We're back for another, ep well not another episode, a new episode. Um, I'm away this weekend, that you're watching this. If you're watching it on this weekend, it'll be the October 17th, 18th weekend in 2015. Anyways, I've heard some very good things about this game. I thought, um, since I'm only kind of releasing a bit of Soul Zero, one Subnautica episode, um, if actually no, I don't think I'll be releasing a Subnautic episode. Uh, let me actually just delete that. And what we're gonna do instead is just do a Soul Zero and her story uh, weekend. So here it is. I've heard very good things about it. Let's start. I'm going to turn the volume up because there's a lot of talking and it's important. So effectively, there's been a murder. This is the taped interviews with this woman and it's up to us to determine if she did it, I believe. I believe that's what it is. Instant file access, storage, what's this? Curie murder. Oh, we already did that. Uh, video subtitles, anti glare filter. Ooh, oh, what should I do? You know what? I like how this looks, but it might look better on YouTube like this. So we're gonna do that. Alright, settings. Uh, 11 seconds. You think it's matter? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay. Uh, she's obviously... That's, so that's on June 27th, 1994. And she's obviously surprised it's murder. Yeah. That's me. February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Okay, that was a few days later. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. That's two days after that, and she says she didn't do it, so she didn't do it, folks. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Okie dokie. Um, Simon. Okay, this is <laughs> 61 entries. Oh, first five entries, okay. <laughs> All right. Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work, mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. Add, ooh, excuse me, add to session. Okay, that's what that does. Oh, huh. so this looks like it's all on the same day. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I bought a photo, they said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. I hope everybody can hear this. I'm a little worried about that, so I'm gonna turn it up just a bit more, just so I know everybody can hear it. Okay, so they're obviously involved somehow. Maybe they're married, I don't know. It's the Rockington Arms, the rock. It's run by a nice couple. Peter Dwayne Johnson. Season. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. 
Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Okay, so obviously that's a bar he likes to go to. There seemed like there was some issues, maybe some jealousy with this Helen lady. I mean, why I mention the barmaid Helen? So that's something to keep in mind. Let's uh, let's remember that name. Actually, let's add that to our session. Yes, there's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer, so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games, you know, climb the tower, save the princess, that kind of thing. Okay. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? Okay, so at this point, June 18th, Simon is missing. Um, she doesn't know he's murdered. Remember how she was like, murdered? Most foul. So, uh, what was, I already, Helen, right? This is played. It's the Rockington Arms. Rockington Arms. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Okay, so let's put in Rockington Arms and... Can we put in... Oh, no. Rockington Arms, Helen. And let's look up Rockington Arms, shall we? That's uh, the same one. Okay. Helen. Ooh, we got a new one. Same day. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes blondes. Just gonna move my microphone here. I kind of shifted it. Did not mean to do that. Okay, uh, were they married? I don't know. She seems kind of angry about this Helen woman. Uh, Susan, that was one of the people who owns. Okay, Peter. All right, uh, missing. Oh, we've jumped ahead a bit. Okay, um, let's play. I thought it made me sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just, I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. There he is. Okay, so she knows he's dead at that point, but she was in Glasgow and she was lying about it. I gotta say, I'm loving this game. I don't know why, but uh, really intrigued by it. Screenshot! Actually, let's do a screenshot in this uh, anti-glare filter mode. I love this. There we go. But we want it to be easily seen on YouTube, so... Glasgow. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've got a few to listen to. So I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going. Just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so sleep. Why did she go to Glasgow though? Look her hair is up, down, and up here. I wonder if that's important. I don't know. I'm playing Columbo here. Actually we can take this. Can we remove it from the session? Eh. Cool. One of the mums here, classic two-player. 
<laughs> Crack with class. Oh, sweet. Alright. I have no idea how to play this. I have, what, what am I doing? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Really reaping. Here's the database. I filled a Freedom of Information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the deals off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got the mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives are flooded, but figure this would be enough. Take your time. Read me. This contains footage. Read the clip. Type in the word. Blah, 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 blah. At the session, okay, yeah, we figured all that out already. Uh, let's watch this. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, poured a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Um, so petrol, for my Canadian friends, is gas, and rubbish is garbage. Alright, so we didn't learn too much other than she drove away. And I believe this was on the night Simon went missing, wasn't it? Let's just, uh... I thought it maybe sounds suspicious. Ah, yes. It's not a normal thing to do, to drive to the other end of the country. I just... I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. There is. Okay, yeah, so she she did go the night her husband went missing. So a little, little weird to do that. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time, you must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Okay, so let's add Eric, Diane, wedding, and watch. We're going to add this to the session because it seems important. We can take this. Oops. Uh, can we remove these? Or remove them. Can't seem to remove them. Um, okay, whatever. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. So asking probably if anybody saw her there. So she says she was in Glasgow. Nobody saw her there, so we don't actually know for sure. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Well, that is a pretty good alibi if she actually was there. So we'll say hospital, pregnant, scratch, taxi. Okay, um... Didn't have any tags there. We checked those tags already. Check Glasgow. So let's, uh, let's check Eric, shall we? Uh, oh, we uh, got some a wide variety here. Okay. He was wearing um, 
a shirt, with a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch, it's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, like Paddington Bear. Uh, he would have taken that with him, it's not in the house. Okay, so Eric is his boss. Now, see, I'm still suspicious because uh, she seemed a bit jealous about this Helen, Helen woman. Now, I'm not saying she uh, she did it, but uh, Paddington Bear, just because. So it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job, but he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at the Rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. It just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. A little suspicious she took so long to uh, to actually uh, contact the police, but I mean that doesn't mean mean anything. Uh, Friday, Saturday. Now I'm curious what happens when we add this to session. Oh, okay, so we can just keep moving along. That's that's fantastic. That makes me happy. So we're gonna watch these and we're gonna kind of just step through with the keywords that I've put in. So. Yes, there's a car that we share, a Cavalier, and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked in the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. So obviously, again, this is uh, when he's gone missing, so we're going to go Cavalier. Add that to the session. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. Eric seems like a bad influence. I don't like him. Well, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Right, did I add Diane as a, uh, some kind of key here? I don't think I did. Okay. So we've gone through these. Um, let's look at the rock. I wrote Ar Rockington Arms, but the rock will do. Yes. Oh, God. I don't know. I mean, I guess the rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. So that's the 25th. Oh, the 18th. Okay. Oh, I think we got a new uh, new day. No. No one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with you from the rock. Hmm. Yeah, just the one I figured. But you know what? We gotta, we gotta cover all our bases. Uh, Eric. Oh, I, I did search Eric. Diane. Ooh, if you, <laughs> why does she have a guitar? <laughs> There's one more thing I wanted to do. I don't know. Because I love Doctor Who. Ah. The. Doctor. TARDIS. Alright, let's listen to Diane. I, I don't know why she has a guitar. I love it though. Diane is really nice. She helps out with the glaziers, organizes the Christmas party, that sort of thing. They have two kids, really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. 
me just see if there's anything to do with the Christmas party. Okay, nothing. So we'll go back to Diane. Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come over for dinner. That would be us returning the favour. Diane is a really good cook into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe off Seafax. And I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? It seems like she she does love him. Um, and she been unlocked. Have you ever eaten fennel? I, I don't even know what fennel is. We'll do a search for it, but it seems like she did love him, but I'm, I'm still suspicious of her. Alright. Diane. Simon and Eric arguing? No. I can't imagine they'd be arguing. And they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But, I don't know. Okay, so there was an argument. That is curiouser and curiouser. Wedding. Okay, we got lots for wedding. But we're going to stop the episode here, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe. And join me again next time for Her Story.